have the problem understanding the uh, predefined exceptions and doing the arithmetic error, okay? And the requirements of this particular assignment is to write the basic program that uses one of the arithmetic exceptions other than dividing by zero, the programs you've seen in this section. So let's go down to the example they give you. This is the arithmetic exception. And if you write this, um, it will not compile, okay? Uh, but they don't want you to do a divide by zero. And actually to do this, you'd have to switch a backslash to a forward slash because that's a division symbol, correct? But basically, this is the idea. You try for the exception. Then if this does not work, then you catch the error and you put the result back to the user. And then with finally, you correct the error and then you end the try. This is the look of your typical arithmetic exception. Okay. So let's try one. They don't want us to do a divide by zero. So um, let's pull up Visual Basic Studio. A classic example of, of an arithmetic exception is one that goes outside the boundaries of a definition. For example, if I wanted to use a byte, there's only 260 bytes. So I could use something technically that could multiply a symbol that would give me a result that would be above 360. And define it as a byte. In this particular case, let's use an integer. Declare a variable value, and we're going to give it a value of 780 million. We'll put in try. So we're going to square the original value. This is going to make it uh, bigger than what an integer can take. So now we're going to declare a variable that squared our original variable. And we're going to do our calculation. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to catch our overflow. It's not a mathematical exception technically. You would understand that going over what you're allowed to have for an integer would produce a mathematical exception. Here we're going to catch our overflow exception. And we're going to do our math on it. And we're going to make it pause so we can read it. Then we're going to end our try. And now I'm going to tell you what the exception would produce. Let's run this. So there's your exception that's produced. And you can see that's exactly what I put down here. That's what the exception that's produced. Okay? How would you write this correctly? So as you can see, if I run it as a double, it's going to still produce an overflow exception because it's still bigger than a double. So no matter what I do, there's no way that you're going to square 780 million. I would just change this number and try that. So I will just put in there a number that you can square. And there are other examples you can do. You can do an incrementing loop, and then you can use a decremental figure like um, we saw in examples before. And my major point here is that there are things arithmetically that you can do, but they don't produce normally arithmetic exception. Usually it's a divide by zero that produces arithmetic exception. But you can see that um, this will produce an overflow, which is pretty common. You can even do a divide by zero and get an overflow exception. Just wanted to show you how that works. Yeah.